This lecture is about Infrastructure as a Service. It is also called IAS. As you can see, Infrastructure as a Service is at the bottom of the Cloud Computing Pyramid, which means it acts as a foundation for the Cloud Computing Platform. Infrastructure as a Service provides virtual computing infrastructure, which is provisioned, managed, and maintained over the Internet. For example, IAAS provides virtual servers, storage, and network as a service. The advantage of infrastructure as a service type of cloud computing platform is that it eliminates the setup and maintenance expenses of on-prem data centers. It's an excellent choice for smaller companies and startups that don't have the resources or time to set up their technology infrastructure. It also takes away operational expenses and the burden of day-to-day -day managing of computing infrastructure, such as taking backups, applying patches, ensuring that the system is secured and not at a security risk, etc. Let's talk about some examples of infrastructure as a service. One of the examples of infrastructure as a service is AWS EC2, which is an AWS service that launches virtual servers on the AWS cloud. Servers are technology infrastructure components. Another example is AWS Elastic Block Service, EBS. EBS is a storage service. EBS is commonly used with EC2. This is also an infrastructure as a service as it provides storage as a service. Storage is a technology infrastructure component. Finally, let's talk about another example of infrastructure as a service that is related to networks. AWS Internet Gateway, which is used to manage internet access for the servers launched on AWS, is also an IAAS type of service as it provides network as a service. Networks are also technology infrastructure components. This was a brief overview of infrastructure as a service, which is one of the main cloud computing types. I hope you liked this lecture and got a good introductory understanding of infrastructure as a service.